This is the LX200 10 inch telescope on a equatorial wedge. I built this brace that I am demonstrating to aid in mounting the telescope in lieu of having to pick it up and put it on my shoulder and squat down as I find the uh, slotted receptor knot knock up there on the wedge. This bracket will help me tilt the telescope so that it's more like mounting it on top of a countertop. I got the idea from another astronomer who had built a similar device. I did a little modifications to his design. I put some J-bolts in that will wrap around the adjustment rod on the wedge and I put some cords in to help pull the brace tight to the back two legs. You will see that in just a moment. Now this would be the procedure you do if your telescope was already mounted and you wanted to put the brace on to help demount the telescope. I am currently putting the J-bolts in to loop over the threaded rod that does the horizontal adjustment. I measured the bolts to, I think I ordered 7 inch but maybe I should have had 8 inch that way I wouldn't have to take them completely off of the uh, wood bracket that I constructed. The star bolts that I bought to go over the J bolts uh, one of them gives me a little bit of a problem. It's almost like it wants to cross thread. I uh, am able to get it going. It probably take me a little longer to use the bracket than it did for me to pick up the scope and put it on my shoulder, but I'm getting to the age where picking 62 pounds of telescope up and put it on my shoulder is getting pretty tough to do. And with some of us who have bad knees like I have, uh, squatting going down with it and then squatting to take it up off them, the, uh, the wedge is getting difficult. I still have to deadlift the telescope up, but I uh, only have to go to counter height. Now I'm putting one of the cords around the bottom legs, the back two legs. those plastic rope hitches that I bought uh, were pretty neat. You can just pull the cord and tighten them up and they'll hold their tightness and then you can loosen them up. You just pull the cord out of the, the lock and it loosens up. Now the top cord I probably didn't need it, but I put it on there just to have a little added security. To hold the bracket in, in place.
and everything is firm and stable. You could leave it in this position as you observe during the night, but you're liable to walk into it when you walk around. Now what I should have done was loosen the bottom two bolts and took them, and taken them out, uh, but I forgot and I also forgot to remove the two barrel weights that were still on the uh, the mount. So now I'm having to get my short Allen wrench and loosen those two bolts and take them out. The position of my tilt plate is not exactly horizontal, but it's close. You do have to loosen the uh, telescope and swing it around to get the handles toward you. It's just a matter of sliding it off the tilt plate. There, I forgot the uh, the barrel weights. I could have left them on, but you could take off a couple extra pounds. Probably a pound of weights there. I do have a JMI foam padded case that the uh, telescope fits in. Taking off the last bolt there. Now that's the position that it would be in when you want to mount it. Your telescope. showing you the kind of close-up view of the cord and wraps and see the two J bolts coming and lap over that other threaded bolt that adjusts the horizontal. There's a good view of the uh, clamp, rope clamp that I had. So like I said, that's the position you would have it if you want to mount your telescope for the night. In fact, that's the position that I put it in when I fasten everything to the uh, tripod. I did test this out in the house on a porcelain floor and it did not slip and this 
is the uh, individual concrete pavers where I have a pad in my backyard. Out at the observing field I do put down a tarp and uh, I would mount the telescope with the legs sitting on the tarp but after everything's in positions it's mounted then I put a wood disc underneath the uh, tripod legs just to keep them from poking holes in my tarp. Put the J-bolts back in. And putting their star bolts on them. Then I use the cords to pull in the adjusting back brace that's on a hinge so it's all would stay together. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, works pretty good, I think. Uh, so if y'all want to build one, like it then uh, feel free. I did make some CAD drawings of the uh, the brace uh, in order to make the the cuts for the angles right. So clear skies.